said on his little Hold on, babes. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> hey, babes. So, I just did a complete 15-minute video. You guys know I never do it that long. And it came out completely chickmunk. And I'm beyond drained. I'm so upset. We got some really good responses. This was all about Kanika and Mac Miller popped in. It. I'm so upset. I was like, Mac... You know, can I talk to you after I'm done reading these questions for Kanika? And he said, yeah. I said, thank you. He was like, you're welcome. And I was like, so I'm going to post it. It's going to be completely chickmunk, a waste of time. That's what it was. I'm really upset. I felt like, hold on, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I felt like Kanika answered every single one of these questions. And now I just don't know if she's going to do it again. You know, I, that really gets me upset. What I could do... I won't be able to put the words to it to the chickmunk because it won't line up once I slow it down. Um, but I'll put the reading up and maybe you guys can try to hear what you want you you could hear. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what a loss! I feel so upset. All right, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Okay. Chocolate milk. Ensure. <laughs> All right, man. So what I was basically saying before was I wrote down just a few questions from yesterday's video um, that you guys asked. Um, I'm asking a lot of questions that I usually stay away from, but I usually stayed away from them because I felt like I already knew the answer. Like, no, it's not, it's not true and, and stay away from that. But maybe I should ask so I, so I do know if it's true or not, you know? So, Kanika, please forgive me for asking these questions. Please don't hate me. It's just to get clarity. All right? Um, these are all questions for you, Kanika. And I know you heard me read them already. You heard me ask them to you already. I have a candle here lit for her. Can you guys see it? There we go. All right. Oh, there we go. I chose that color because um, it's not the color that I chose. It's the scent. It's pumpkin spice, and that's my happy place, so I wanted to share my happy place with her, so I actually gave that candle just for her, or got that candle just for her. Um, I feel like when you start doing just white candles, or red candles, and green candles, and this candle, and that candle, it becomes like a ritual, and that's not what we're about. We're about love, peace, and justice, and that's it. So, with that being said, I'm going to try this again. I pray and pray and pray it's not chickmunk again, because I will just freak all right, Kanika, baby, you heard me ask all these questions to you twice. I'm gonna reread them real quick for the for the babes. Were you unconscious at the double tree and taken to the Crown Plaza? Was Teresa there? Did Teresa sacrifice you? Was that you at any point walking the hallways on camera at the Crown Plaza? Was Zach in the room? Who can we give this information to? Are there tunnels that connect the two hotels? Was that your body on the man's shoulder in the picture I showed yesterday? Where, where did he take you? The picture where you, you're laying against the floor frame, uh, against the door frame. Are they fondling you? That was yesterday's video. Were you dead or unconscious at the double tree? Did they put you in the pool, then take you to the freezer? Did you ever chill with quote-unquote friends in the past in that freezer? Was it a hangout spot? Is Teresa a suspect in your eyes? Do you know how many people died in that specific freezer? When did they change your clothing into the black outfit? Was that you in the black clothing in distress in the lobby? Which hotel did they change your clothes? That wasn't even half of the questions asked, but that's so many questions. This is going to be a long video, and it might take me two days to review. So, please don't be chickmunk.
Guys, I'm sorry I'm back. It's all right. All right. Can I re-ask these questions again? Kaniko, were you unconscious at the double tree? Did they take you to the Crown Plaza? Was Teresa there? Did Teresa sacrifice you? Were you walking in the Crown Plaza at any point? Was Zach in the room? With the group? He was. Okay, Kanika. Who can we give this information to? Are there tunnels connecting the two hotels? In the basement. Was that your body on the man's shoulder at the double tree? Yes, okay. was not dead, you were unconscious. Did they think you were dead? Okay, thank you. Um, where did he take you? Refrigerator? Freezer? Picture where you're laying against the door frame. Are they fondling you? Not asleep. Were you drugged at that point? Were you dead in the cramp in, in the double tree or were you unconscious in the double tree? Did they put you in the pool and then take you to the freezer? On what day? That sounded like the seventh.
Did you ever chill with quote unquote friends in that freezer like a hangout? Kanika, is Teresa, your mother, a suspect in your eyes? Do you know how many people died in that specific freezer? When did they change your clothes into the black outfit? Was that you in the black clothing in distress in the lobby? Which hotel did they change your clothing? She said, yep. Okay, thank you, Kanika. I love you so much. You did great. Two times, you did great. <laughs> Thank you for doing this again for me. Is Mac Miller there? Can I speak to him? Matt, were you sober? I saw a video that you were sober. 60 days. Were you being robbed? Tell me what happened. Can, can you clear the air? Did Ariana Grande sacrifice you? Did she have anything to do with your death? The code. Somebody wanted to rob you. Do you know who it was? Alright, I'm going to get going, guys. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys later. Alright. Oh, okay, I had to turn that off. Alright, please don't be chickmunk. Please don't be chickmunk. I love you, babes. Hey, Sid. I'm his. Little Sid. Little Sid.
computer camera and when I record on my phone I don't get that much storage so we have a lot of okay we have a lot of questions I'm going to read the questions out loud um, and then I might also repeat them as it's going on um, I don't know it just goes by a feeling of how I feel and what I feel I need to do so alright with that being said I'm going to read you guys the questions <clears throat> I'm already losing my voice hold on one mm, alright whatever alright Kanika baby I'm going to light this camera first for you and Vinny and everybody else with you and for everybody else that's seeking justice for you. Alright, so we got the candle. I chose this candle, not because it's orange or any specific color. I chose this candle because um, it means something to me. And I feel like once you start doing things like um, it has to be a certain color candle, it has to be this, it has to be that, I feel like it turns into like a ritual. And that's not what we're about. We're about loving peace and justice, you know. So yeah, I picked this one because it's pumpkin spice and it always brings me to a happy place and I want her to experience my happy place as well. So, with that being said, first question, Kanika. Um, first of all, Kanika, there's a lot of questions on here that I always try to avoid. Um, not because I didn't want to hear the answers, but I kind of already felt in my heart I knew the answer. Um, but maybe I'm wrong, so maybe I should ask. So I'm going to ask. Please don't get mad at me. Please don't hate me. Um, it's just to clear the air for other people as well as myself. Okay. Were you all conscious at the double tree and taken to the Crown Plaza? Was Teresa there? Did your mom, brother, or everyone, and everyone that was there know this was a sacrifice? Sorry, Kanika. Was that you at any point walking the halls on camera? Was Zach in the room? Who can we give this information to? Are there tunnels that can connect? Oh, are there tunnels that connect the two hotels? Was that your body on the man's shoulder in the picture that I showed yesterday? Where did he take you? The picture where you're laying against the door frame. Were they fondling you? Were you unconscious? Were you dead or unconscious at the double tree? Did they put you in the pool, then take you to the freezer? Did you, did you ever chill with your quote-unquote friends in the past in that freezer? Is Teresa a suspect in your eyes? Do you know how many people died in that specific freezer? When did they change your clothing into the black outfit? Was that you in the black clothing in distress in the lobby? Which hotel where your clothing changed. Okay, so that's a lot, a lot of questions. I do not expect her to answer every single one of them um, in this reading, but she might come through in like tomorrow, the next day, and say some more stuff about these questions. Um, this wasn't even half of the questions on that video I posted yesterday. So, <clears throat> let me just say my little prayer. I 
Oh, my heart's pounding already. You guys already know my heart, and I'm already jittery and stuff. <sighs> Let me turn it down so we can hear it better. Minimum speed. Hey, guys. You guys here with me? Did you hear my questions? Okay, Kanika, were you unconscious at the double tree and taken to the Crown Plaza? Was Teresa at the party? Does, did your mom sacrifice you? Was that you at any point walking the hallways in the Crown Plaza? Was Zach in the room with you? Who can we get this information to? Are there tunnels connecting the two hotels together? Was that your body on the man's shoulder? Where did he take you? Okay, um, the picture where you're laying against the door frame, are they fondling you? Were you dead or unconscious at the double tree? Sleepwalk. Did they put you in the pool, then take you to a freezer? Is that you? Matt, can I talk to you after I finish asking these questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so can we cut it? Did you and your quote unquote friends ever chill in that freezer in the past? Is that a hangout spot?
Anika, in your eyes, is Teresa a suspect? Do you know how many people died in that specific freezer? When did they change the clothes into the black outfit? in distress in the lobby? Which hotel did they change the clothing in? Wow, Kanika, you did wonderful. Thank you so much, honey. You are awesome. I love you, baby. Mac, you still there? Malcolm. Were you being robbed? Do you know who robbed you? Were you sober? I gotta get going, so tell me what you can. How many were there? Were you sober? All right, I gotta go. I love you guys. Thank you. My dog started barking. Thank you guys. Love you. Wow. Oh my goodness. Did you hear when Matt came through? And I was like, can I talk to you a little, in a little bit? And he was like, yeah. I was like, thank you. He was like, you're welcome. Oh my god, I feel like Kanika answered every single one of these questions. I'm shaking. My heart is pounding. Hold on. Sensei, stop! I oh, can't yell. She hears the neighbor doing the yard. Alright, so, oh, what I wanted to tell you also was I was sitting down. Hold on, I got something in my eye. Hair. Yeah. I was sitting down and I just started writing these questions. And, please excuse the dog. She's annoying. I'm sorry. Alright, um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but you got to see this. Sophie, stop. Yeah. There's a helicopter at my window. <laughs> I was sitting here writing questions for Kanika. I don't know if you can see that. And look. Can you see him? Oh, you can't see it. He keeps circling in front of my window. Yeah, he went by like four times. The time before that, what made me pull my phone out was because he was literally like in my street. And I was like, what in the world? So yeah, that was creepy. Anyways, I love you, babe. I'm still a little sick. My dog is going to make my voice completely go because I'm trying to yell at her, telling her to stop it. <laughs> I love you, babe.